Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am so, so excited. I don't know if you had a chance to watch my video from last week, but I finally have an official intro for this channel. Like, round of applause. I'm really, really, really excited. So I feel like I can finally call myself like a beauty guru. But yeah, let's jump into that in case you missed it from last week. <laughs> so so excited to finally have that for this channel soon it will even evolve into like a cartoon character versus like a picture but yeah i'm really excited so if you want to see how i managed to do that because it literally took me like an hour give this video a hundred thumbs up i know you can't like see my likes because they're not public but yeah give this video a hundred thumbs up so thumbs up if you want to see it because if like one or two people comment down below then i won't really know if many of you want to see it or just those one or two people you know so if this video hits 100 likes i will definitely show you how i created that whole intro in literally less than an hour i just needed to get up off my butt and get it done so excited to finally have it my channel feels official now very happy but um today's video is actually a review of the revlon color stay foundation for the longest time i actually thought i already had like an 18 hour wear test of this on my channel but i realized that i never made that video public i guess when i rewatched it i didn't like my eyeshadow or my look in that or something <laughs> Just something went wrong but it never went live so you guys haven't actually seen me do a dedicated review of this foundation on my channel i have done a video where i've compared it to the estee lauder foundation and honestly it's exactly the same so if you don't want to spend thousands and thousands and th i think it's like six thousand five hundred or something it's like a crazy crazy price for the estee lauder foundation it is a hundred percent worth it but the only difference between them is that the estee lauder has a little bit more coverage than the revlon color stay but otherwise they're exactly the same I love this foundation because it is transfer proof. You see, can you even hear the slapping on my face? Look at that. Absolutely nothing on my hands. It is a transfer proof foundation that is affordable. I absolutely love this. It's been the foundation that I've recommended to people over and over again. That is until my Maybelline Superstay came out. Don't know where the bottle is, so I'll just have a picture of it here. But yes, when the Superstay came out, because it does have more coverage and it's also transfer proof i believe if i'm not wrong i'll have to like slap myself with that on and then see but yes it, since that came out obviously i moved on to that but i still do love the revlon color stay foundation so i thought we'd talk about it today see how well it holds up i have literally had it on my face for five hours and you can see how good my skin still looks so yeah if you want to see all of that and more this is like the longest intro ever <laughs> then just keep watching okay so the first question that i want to answer is why do i have two bottles as you can see here it says normal to dry versus combination nation oily because Revlon does this really dumb thing where there's a 410 cappuccino in the normal to dry version and the 410 cappuccino in the oily combo version right so you would expect that these are the same shade which they are they are the same shade but they're not the same undertone which makes the whole different so me having dry skin i initially bought the normal to dry formula believing like that's the one that's more slightly maybe more hydrating more adapted to like dry skin but no the oily combo skin version actually works perfectly for my dry skin and i've used this dry skin version on oily skin and they didn't get oily because when i was like doing people's makeup and whatever this was my go-to foundation because transfer proof few pumps to build it up to full coverage but you look literally like butter in pictures i absolutely love it so this has been a favorite foundation of mine for a while now but <laughs> that's just me going off on a tangent so back to the shades 410 cappuccino 410 cappuccino not the same shade because this has a red undertone and this has a yellow undertone and the yellow undertone is what i need but i was a bit hesitant to go for like the oily skin version because that means the foundation is supposed to be more mattifying whereas i find that it actually performs exactly the same regardless of what formula you get on my dry skin and on other people's oily skin that i've used it on so yeah i love this foundation but i hate that i had to buy two bottles to finally get my right shade what i really wanted to do for this december like all my december videos is to bring the same foundation side by side in two different shades that kind of maybe work for me so you can see which one is a better match for you just to help you like as you're shopping in december spoiling yourself you only live once forgetting that january is coming I do have the red undertoned 410 on this side and the yellow undertoned 410 on this side and I will insert a demo of like how I got to my entire face done. Basically, I did go in with one pump and I am using my sponge because I use my sponge for all my foundation applications these days. I've just switched over from brushes but if you do want fuller coverage, definitely go for a brush. I just prefer the airbrush look of a sponge. But yeah, I did go in first with the combination oily version which is a yellow undertone which is a correct undertone for me. It does look a bit iffy in the beginning but it sort of melts into your skin and like 
oxidizes into your skin tone if that actually makes sense because at first it looked like it didn't really match me but after you give it a bit of time to like sit and like get used to your skin then it matches you perfectly and as you can see that side of my face just matches my body so so well because it's a right undertone i did add in a second pump just to show you that it can be built up and you can actually get like full coverage flawless look with this foundation and you can see a very clear difference between the side of my face that has no foundation which has like uneven skin tone and all of that going on versus the side that looks like perfection with the foundation on so i really do love this foundation and if you do have yellow undertones like i do you definitely need to pick up the oily combo version i don't know if this is the same with all the other levels of shades in the range because they have like 400 420 434 whatever i can only speak for the 410 cappuccino and 410 cappuccino comes in two versions red and yellow so on the other side of my face i did go in with one pump of the red undertone foundation just to show you the stark stark difference because it's so obvious once you have them like side by side and then i did go in with one pump just to show you what lighter coverage looked like versus the other side of my face that had the two pumps so it was full coverage and then um i added a second pump to that obviously and because it is a wrong undertone for me it's looking a lot darker than the other side with the yellow undertone but they are the same shade i just wanted to demonstrate to you the difference that undertones can make however a really good way to like trick the eye into thinking you're wearing the right foundation for you is to just fix everything with concealer because as i'm sitting here right now you probably can't tell that i'm actually wearing two two very different undertone foundations as much as it was super obvious in the beginning when they were just like the foundations alone side by side now that I have concealer on and lipstick and eyeshadow and highlighter and all of that it's kind of like tricking the eye and disguising it because this is the side that has the red undertone foundation and you can see it actually looks like it matches my body correctly because my concealer matches my body correctly and because we use a lighter color concealer it actually lightens everything up and just like makes it just mesh better with everything so now it actually looks like i'm wearing the same foundation on my entire face but i am still wearing half of the red and half of the yellow so i'm going to be wearing this for minimum 12 hours um the time that i put the foundation on was 2 p.m i forgot to show you that but it was 2 p.m it is now 5 22 so it's been well over three hours that i've had this foundation on my face nothing has budged nothing has moved nothing has shifted or anything like that just for the sake of fairness i did decide that i will be using setting spray and setting powder in my videos because some foundations just need like a lick of powder on them for them to work really well so because these two were so heavily discounted during like the whole jumia maybelline black friday something situation they became so affordable that there's really no excuse to not have these in your collection so i feel like it's pretty fair it's pretty accessible to everyone that you can definitely pick up a powder and a setting spray and then be able to get the exact same results that i can though i know that with this foundation even without setting it with powder without using setting spray without using anything i have worn it for 18 hours in that video that never saw the light of day i wore it for 18 hours and my face looked exactly the same exactly the same and i think i was wearing the normal to dry skin formula which is supposed to be a more hydrating formula maybe make you look a little bit more dewy than you actually are and yet that one with zero oil control properties actually looked flawless the entire day literally i timed myself 18 hours that's that's kind of amazing so and yeah i just wanted to show you what they are in case you are my skin tone so you can actually match yourself etc you're welcome and then a couple of side notes i use the jackin Gido brow pen again from my last video i don't know if you've seen that but i decided that i want my brows to look that good every day so this is the pen that i went in with and i absolutely love my brows i actually use this even on top of foundation and it just it works perfectly my brows still transfer proof do you see my face moving because i'm touching it look at that look at that absolutely nothing so i love this pen the alamore palette this is from my boxy charm this is what i have on my eyes i just wanted to show you even my highlight is from the palette it is this shade right here and yeah i'm obsessed the most important other thing that i wanted to mention in this video is these lipsticks as you can see i have a brown lipstick on my lips and i'm obsessed with this shade this is the crayons and ink they did um reach out to me on instagram and send a couple over for review and i am obsessed with these the colors so beautiful Beautiful. these colors are amazing it is a local brand to so support one of your own so i will talk more about these in next week's video because that's where i'll be reviewing other kenyan brands including joanna k cosmetics i am so happy for her i'm so excited i was hoping to be able to like review it this week this was actually supposed to be this week's video but um there are a few delays so she will be shipping out the eyeshadow palettes next week so hopefully next week i'll have the eyeshadow palette to like do different looks with them and show you how glam you can get with those beautiful colors and then i will be talking more about these i just wanted to mention 
foundation that this lovely lovely super comfortable matchy that i have is crayons and ink and i'm obsessed i'll link their instagram down below so you can check them out but yeah obsessed with these so i'm going to end this part here but i'll see you in about nine hours i'm just going to go about the rest of my day and we'll come back in and see how well everything has held out it has been 14 and a half hours since my last check-in and i am so glad i'm finally reviewing this foundation like properly on my channel because you can see that there is not one lick of oil or sweat on the surface of my skin so when i do tell you that there are foundations that do not look greasy on me whatsoever this is proof that it actually exists because i didn't use a primer like i never use a primer in my foundation so there's no primer helping this just my usual setting spray and powder and you can see how good my face still looks yes i do wear spectacles so this um nose area always gets messed up no matter what foundation i'm wearing but the good thing is this one remains wet enough that i can still like push it into place and sort of fix it at least for the most part so if you look at my face after 14 hours everything is still as matte and as intact as it was at the very beginning of this check-in which is what i keep talking to you about when i talk about like quality foundations that actually last you through an entire day you know so especially because this is an affordable one this is a hundred percent a thumbs up from me both sides look exactly the same i guess this side does look a little bit more like alive and supple versus this side that's looking just a little bit more like sunken in but you can't necessarily tell the difference at first glance so I mean, even if you do accidentally buy the wrong undertone for you, you can still kind of make it work if you have the right concealers and whatever. But yeah, oh my goodness. Also, this kind of turned into an accidental like wear test of the liquid lipstick because I'm seeing that it's pretty damn intact because I have been eating and like not really caring about it. And the fact that it still looks this good after 14, well, I put it on at like three hours into the check-in so i'm gonna say 11 hours of wearing the lipstick and it looks fantastic as you can see it's really not broken up at all like there's no like butthole line there's no like there's nothing so yeah this is and it's super comfortable so it's not like i'm feeling it on my face even with the foundation i'm not feeling anything on the surface of my skin literally i've gone to like scratch my face and touch it a few times and then i've been like oh my gosh i'm wiping off the foundation and then i remember that there is no transfer even now even 14 hours later even after my natural oils have like had a chance to sort of come through and mix in with the foundation and make it melt into my skin and look even more natural and give it the slight glow that it has even then there is no breaking up of the foundation to give me transfer so yeah i think i'm reminded of why this was my favorite foundation for the longest time and i will definitely be reaching for it more often i feel like if i can look flawless 14 and a half hours in this is 100 percent a 24 hour foundation because then you can use like more powders and a primer and whatever to like help it out more and you can see the side of the oily combination version versus the dry skin version both look equally matte so both of them will work for you regardless of what skin type you have my brows my brows are still also not moving so i feel like this is the ultimate no transfer makeup routine my brows are still absolute perfection 14 hours later my lips still look fantastic 11 hours later the foundation i mean look at this there is no breaking up there is no like separation the smile lines are non-existent so it doesn't give you smile lines so throughout your day you don't really have to worry about touching it up or anything like that so if you want a foundation that you just put on go forget about it this is definitely the one making this check-in very very short because all my other videos have 10 to run a little long so i'm gonna end it here thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this thumbs up if you did be sure to subscribe ring the bell so you can be notified whenever i put up new videos and i will see you in my next one